good afternoon guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces guys. I'm actually making those freezer dinners that I needed to make. Um, I'm whipping those up right now. Um, this week I got about six pounds of ground beef in total and about three pounds of chicken breast. I'm going to wind up making five freezer dinners. I'm going to freeze three pounds of ground beef and one pound of chicken breast separate for my mom to make um, or to use when she needs to make things for dinners. Um, so like she normally cooks on the weekends and I'll cook during the week. So tonight we had Italian chicken pasta for dinner um, and actually with the leftover pot that I boiled the noodles in is what I'm going to brown the ground beef with and um, I'm going to make three sloppy joes and I'm going to make two salsa chickens um, so I'll show you guys all the stuff that I'm going to use I got everything actually really cheap for this week um, as far as the meat goes the other things were stuff that I bought um, previous weeks and also was really cheap so I think it was last week I ended up getting the red gold um, products at um, what's it called at Caputo's um, I think these were like maybe 69 75 cents under a dollar or something like that um, I think they were, maybe they were a dollar and then the um, red gold salsa was like a dollar 19 or a dollar 50 or something like that so I think that in total ended up being like around six bucks um, the black beans which I'm going to use for the salsa actually that was um, the organic black beans from Aldi is maybe 69 cents or something like that. It's under a dollar, but I think it's a little over 50 cents. Um, and then I got corn from Caputo's. I'm not going to use the whole bag, but I'm going to use this also for the salsa chicken um, and probably use maybe about half the bag between for the two of them. Um, and that I got for also under a dollar, but I think over 50 cents maybe something like that so it's right in that um price range but then the chicken breast i got on sale was a dollar and um 29 cents per pound so again i picked up about three pounds worth and then um the ground beef was 179 a pound and both packages were like right at three pounds so again this was probably around 10 11 bucks for that um this was four so it'd say probably about 15 dollars in total for the meat and then for my extra um things that I got was again probably close to maybe around you know six or seven dollars something like that in total probably like you know right under twenty five dollars a little over twenty bucks um and again like four of those I'm freezing just separately for my mom so that she can have ground beef when she needs to use it and then also the chicken breast um as well so um like I said for whatever dinner she's making so like last week she used two chicken or this weekend she used two chicken breasts to make the um what was that um like stuffed uh chicken stuffing casserole sort of um so i'm replacing at least one of the chicken breasts and then again also the ground beef so she'll do it with like pasta or chili or um you know all that different kind of stuff so um but again i got those those red gold products that was two weeks ago at caputo's for a really good sale so again i let it sit in the pantry waited for the meat to go on sale now that the meat's on sale i have some stuff to make it with um so yeah it was all really good but again <laughs> since i luckily had like i said did the pasta for dinner tonight i'm just gonna throw everything in the pot I just rinsed out so I don't have to run it through the dishwasher or anything because again I didn't you know I really didn't dirty it all that much just so I can ground that brown the ground beef for the sloppy joes I'm gonna throw all the sloppy joes stuff together again split up the other package of ground beef freeze that in three pounds like each so um like you know for this I've got the um the freezer bags and I just wrote on there that that's like my mom's ground beef that's one pound so when she goes to use it for dinners it's already in the freezer we don't have to go out of our way buy it when it's extra expensive um you know or just not on sale um you know so like I said since it's on sale now I got a freezer full of you know there's already honestly probably a good 10 plus pounds of chicken breast and probably close to that in ground beef too um you know maybe maybe closer to five pounds of ground beef um but 
but you know that's all split up too and then if she needs more like if she needs two pounds for something she's making a meatloaf she can just defrost two pounds or something yeah. like that um, but it's easier when most recipes call for like one pound increment so that's why I just freeze everything in one pound and then pick and choose what you know how much you need but my freezer dinners when I do them I like to pre-make you know whatever the stuff is and again when I have stuff that's on sale and or was in the pantry already from a sale that I got before I can just use that for the stuff that I'm making the salsa chicken I am just going to throw all that stuff into a bag together and then freeze it um, so I'll show you guys all of that all right guys so I've got the three pounds of ground beef and the one pound of chicken breast I'm gonna try and figure out how to squeeze in here but again there is oh there's frozen bananas there is some chicken breast down there um, there's some ground beef that's already frozen in here that's down there um, trying to see but yeah so I'm gonna actually probably re rearrange this so the newer stuff is down on the bottom the older stuff is up on top so that gets used up first but I need two hands to do that but for now that stuff's in the freezer. All right guys, so I've got the salsa. I've got one jar of the salsa in there, one pound of chicken breast. Then what I'm gonna do actually is this is some of my mom's homemade taco seasoning. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of that in there. Um, the half a can of black beans to each and then again, a fourth of a bag of corn to each of those bags as well. And then that's how I'm gonna freeze them. The salsa chicken is finished up. Um, that's probably the cook time, give or take maybe a little bit. Um, just once the chicken is shreddable is when it's good and done. Um, which normally, I don't know, that's like the bare minimum I think that I put it in there for. But honestly, I normally cook it for longer than that. Um, so, but um, like I said, I added just a little bit of corn just because Jack doesn't isn't a huge fan of corn um, and a little bit of black beans too just a little extra protein but um, you know this is normally on a given night normally only feeding three people Jack my mom and dad because I don't eat meat and then Matthew's normally not here like when I cook um, but he will be most likely like over Thanksgiving break Christmas break as well so um, you know we've got you know maybe a little bit more but um, obviously this can be added more doubled stuff like that but with the leftover black bean can, I'm going to drain the meat now for the sloppy joes and then add the sloppy joe sauce, let it cool, and then I'm going to bag that. So this is all browned, all the meat, and then I added those three cans of sloppy joes. I'm going to split this up into three batches and freeze it, but I've got to let it cool. So I'm going to let it cool for a little while, maybe about 20 minutes or so. Um, and then I am going to, um, like I said, split it up and get it into the freezer bags and then take it out to the outside freezer. I got these three things of Slappy Joe's done. I'm gonna go get them out in the freezer. And that concludes my freezer dinners that I needed to make tonight. It honestly took me <clears throat> to split everything up. The, again, the ones I actually had to make. Splitting up that meat, making these, doing the chicken breast ones and everything like that. Honestly, it took me maybe about a half an hour and then to let these sit and cool before I put them in the bag, maybe another half an hour, but I was able to go and edit actually while I was doing that. So I just edited yesterday's vlog um, while I was waiting for these to cool. So multitasking and now I can get these out to the freezer and I'm done. You were very cute, Mr. B. Were you stretching? Huh? And now are you gonna be all awkward because they have a camera on you? Hi, little baby. <laughs> Your ears are really cute. What about you? <laughs> Hi. Well, guys, I am going to go hop in the shower and get to bed. It is it is later than I want it to be. Guys, I don't know why I ended up staying up kind of late. Um, and But I did get a lot of stuff done for today, which I was really happy about. It was just... Like, I'm a little frustrated that it's late now <laughs> and I stayed up because um, I kind of woke up early today and like I could tell by like 10 o'clock I was like I feel like I'm getting tired <laughs> um, and then no now it's actually a little after midnight and I wanted to have been in bed already um, so I was trying I'm trying to work back into like going to bed at a decent time sort of just because like 
consistently have been going to bed around like one o'clock or so um and so i've been like i said trying to work into a better habit last night was good i went to bed i think i took a shower actually by like 10 30 and was in bed by like about 11 or 11 30 um and then i woke up this morning at like eight o'clock but tonight i'm going to bed like i said kind of late um but luckily because it did cool down i was able to sleep last night because it just been so hot i even had my window open like but it was still just hot and humid but now the furnace is on again today i honestly completely forgot that like yesterday it was hot and thunderstorming out because <laughs> like today i've been outside like a couple times to take those uh freezer dinners out i went there outside twice to get one of the freezer dinners for um this morning um that i cooked i went outside to go and get that and so i've been outside a couple times so i was like oh it's cold outside like compared to again yesterday <laughs> it's a hot out i was in a t-shirt yeah other than laundry i actually got to pretty much everything on my planner for today um i wanted to make sure i got those freezer dinners done um somewhat earlier in the week i didn't want to wait until like thursday friday or saturday or something like that to like wait to make them um so yeah but lucky i got that done early i have to make my grocery list as well so that we can go to the grocery store on friday and saturday and i'd like to get it done tomorrow um and not have to wait and that would be really nice if hopefully i can get up early tomorrow as well so anyways though guys i will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys